Hi everyone. In this set of tutorials, we're going to talk about how to use sets within OpenVSP. Now a set is basically just a pre-selected group of components that you've decided to lump together. This is different than what's in the geometry browser where you have the model tree and the inherited hierarchy. This is just individual components that you've chosen to belong to whatever group you need them for. And I'll give you an example. So here in the set that I've defined as the lifting set, I've selected the wing and the horizontal tail. So I can either select this set here in the set editor, which you can find by going to model set editor, or I can come down here into the geometry browser and choose the lifting set and show only. Now you can see that only those components are shown. If I choose a different set like the full aircraft and show, it brings everything back. Now the way that you can add and remove components from a set is to say pick a set or rename a set by highlighting this calling it whatever you want i highly recommend you do that to keep things organized and you simply check the boxes of the components that you want to belong so if i want tail control i choose the horizontal and vertical tail now in this case you may have 20 or 30 or 40 components in a highly complex open vsp model and um, as you can imagine clicking each one of these individual parts is tedious what you can do instead is you can copy and paste set members. So let's say, for example, we had this group of components, but all we really want is what belongs to the wing. So let's show only, and now we only have the wing and the engines, right? If we go to shown, wing and engines, or the wing and the duct component, are pre-selected. We can copy those set members, come down here to set four, and paste. And now, we're easily able to choose whatever we have shown on the screen, copy those and put them into a new set and they're all pre-selected. Now, of course, we can add all geometries or remove all geometries with a click of a button. But if we go to something like the lifting set, we can again choose to select. Notice that that's the wing and the horizontal tail. Now you'll notice here, there's this button that says copy set membership when copying the geometries. And I'll show you what that means. So if we have the tail control set, for example, and I come here to the horizontal tail, let's go ahead and show all the components for now. Let's copy this and paste it here under the fuselage. So we have another one. Notice what happened. The new horizontal tail component was copied not only in the geometry browser, but also with the inherited set. So tail control, full aircraft and lifting all have a second horizontal tail component because we told it to transfer that along. If you deactivate that, any copies or clones of components that you have in your geometry browser will not inherit the set. So if you happen to have different overlaid versions of components in your model and you don't want to inherit sets, you only want to use one, turn that off. And then whenever you say try and use sets to run VSP Arrow, for example, it will only use the ones that you've already prescribed. Now, in other tutorials in this group, we'll be talking about how to use those sets for things like VSP Arrow, Parasite Drag, or other analyses, and even how to use a set to save a defined set of components within VSP into a new model. So we'll get into that stuff here in a little while, but this just serves as a nice introduction to the concept.